Good evening, and welcome to this week's Wednesday Word of Wisdom. This is yours truly, Prophetess Antoinette Jackson, here to share with you yet another message of hope and prayerfully one of encouragement. Um, I know we find ourselves um, at times and places in our lives where we too need to be encouraged, but somehow or another, we, um, the word of the Lord tells us that when we are weak, that is when God is strong. And so I am certainly um, tapped into and relying on his strength, his power um, during this season that our family has been called to mourn. Um, so, of course, this this week's teaching is going to be dedicated uh, somewhat to our dear matriarch, Mary Frances Thomas, um, who took on the wings of the morning on Friday, September 4th at 5.42 a.m. Uh, to go and meet her maker. Um, while our hearts are grieved, we are sad, um, we are missing her dearly, but we know that God does not make any mistakes. And so I thank you, first of all, to you, those that listen week after week. I thank you uh, for those that have reached out, those that have um, sent a text or post on uh, social media of encouragement and prayers uh, for our family. And so with that, um, I want to just, I want to ask a question. Will you dance with me? Will you dance with me? Um, I was lying there last night. Yesterday was a really, really, really tough day. I was heavy um, the entire day. I couldn't shake it. I tried to focus and work, and I did. Um, but it was tough. I was just heavy. My mom called me a couple of times. She called me back. She was like, I was just calling to see if you had perked up any, and, and I just couldn't. My husband was like, what is it? that I can do, baby? What, what, what do you need? Do you want to go somewhere? Do, and I just didn't. And, um, just, I want to encourage us in our humanness because so many times, uh, people look to us, um, to be strong and we are to a certain degree, but we are also human. And that means we feel, we hurt, we grieve. We cry, we rant, we fuss, we cuss. We do all of these things in our humanness. And if you don't, then I would um, submit that you probably need to check yourself because um, there are just things about this thing called life that often pushes us into the corner. And when we go into the corner, we come out fighting. It's just in us. You know, there was this, thing that I, that we learned, um, that I learned when I was taking some psychology courses, you know, we have the fight or flight response. So either we're going to fight or we're going to run. So one, one, one or the other, some, some of our, the, 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 our makeup or the things that are in us is going to cause us to either fight or flight. And so when I ask you the question, will you dance with me? Um, it really took me back to um, when I was, you know, eighth grade and eighth grade was a big deal um, because, you know, the guys would come and ask you, would you be my date, you know, to to the sweetheart ball? That was what we had in eighth grade. Um, or if you didn't, you know, then they would come and ask you, will you dance with me? And so I found uh, dancing certainly to be one of the the joys, uh, the things that I miss a lot. Now, let me just put this disclaimer out there. I don't consider myself a dancer per se, but I'll get down with the best of them on some line dances. And I love line dances. And I think um, when I was thinking about it, I think um, what I love so much about line dancing is one, it brings people together. Because, you know, there are some people that can cut a step. They can literally cut a rug by themselves and be the whole show. But I'm not that girl, 
Okay. However, if the wobble comes on, the Cupid shuffle, the biker shuffle, your girl is getting on the dance floor. It's just something about it that moves me and it brings us into a collective space where even if you fumble, a lot of times nobody knows because everybody's just looking at the flow of the group that's on the floor. And so I was excited about, um, you know, asking you the question, will you dance with me? And so the scripture that I want to look at um, for for today's uh, teaching is Psalm 30, verses 11 through 12. And I'll read it from the Amplified Version. And it says, you have turned my morning into dancing for me. You have taken off my sackcloth and clothed me with joy. That my soul may sing praise to you and not be silent. O Lord, my God. I will give thanks to you forever. Selah. And it doesn't even say Selah in there, but if you know in the Bible, Selah just means that we pause for a moment and we reflect. And so I'm just grateful um, as I sit in this moment and as I honor my dear grandmother who God gave to this earth for 98 blessed years and who loved me for 43 of those years. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. And in spite of my sadness, in spite of my tears, um, the word of God assures me that God will turn my mourning into dancing and he will turn my sorrows into joy. And so that gives me hope that gives me an expectation for what is to come. Um, it may not seem feasible right now. Uh, there are just moments that I just feel like I just literally want to scream. Um, there are times when it becomes overwhelming and I simply cry. Um, but I know that God knows. He sees all. He knows all. And so when I ask you to come and dance with me, um, or will you dance with me? You know, more or less is, you know, will, will you encourage me? You know, will you pray for me? Will you lift me up when I come across your mind? Um, so will you dance with me? Because I too do the same for you all, especially those that listen. You know, I just pray a double portion for each of you that um, continue to send me words of encouragement, even when I'm not going through anything. But the truth of the matter is all of us have mourned something at some point in our lives. Maybe you haven't experienced the loss or death of a loved one, but you have lost something. You might be mourning your joy. You might be mourning your peace. You might be mourning the lack of love. You might be mourning the abandonment of a parent. You might be mourning the uh, loss of a friend or a, a friendship that you had or maybe even a courtship that you had. You may have lost your job throughout as a result of this pandemic and maybe even your home. So somebody somewhere is mourning. And so if we can find a way to come together and dance together, share in the excitement and the expected joy that is to come after all of this, there's a song, there's a gospel song that says that there will be glory after this. There will be victory after this. And, in the, and the songwriter said, God can turn it around. He will bring you out. He's going to bring us out of this. And I feel my help even as I'm sharing. So I just want to invite you to dance with me. I don't care what song we play, but can we just dance? And share in the joy that the Father gives us, even in the midst of sadness, 
even in the midst of unexpected loss, can we share in that? So will you dance with me? I pray that you won't leave me hanging on the dance floor because I'm telling you, I'm standing there and I'm waiting in expectation for that joy to return. I may be smiling as I often do, but to my heart is heavy. And, um, but I do know that better days are ahead of us. So as you reflect on Psalm 30, read the whole chapter. But verse 11 was just special to me today because to me that was a promise that the Lord will turn my mourning into dancing. He'll take all my sorrows away and give me joy. And not only that, But he promises to give me a praise that I can sing and declare forever. Listen, the psalmist David says says this. He says, I will bless the Lord at all times and his praises shall continuously be in my mouth. Oh, that my soul may make her boast in the Lord, that the humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Come on and bless the name of the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. For he has done great and mighty things for you and for me. And he will continue. So I encourage you, my sister. I encourage you, my brother. Come on and join me on the dance floor. Will you dance with me? Amen. God bless you. Please share this message of encouragement and light with someone that you feel can benefit. But know that where we are right now is not a permanent place. I don't care what you're going through right now. It's not permanent. But we trust God to see us through to the other side so that we can experience the joy that he promised us when the morning comes. I love you. Stay encouraged, and until next time, be blessed.